Hey friends, welcome back to another episode of Making Sense of Your Market. Today is Friday, it's April 14th, 2023. Really important message for you today, probably my most important message of the year because it involves the future of our money, all the headlines. I don't, I try not to watch the news, but it's hard on social media to not see things that China and Russia and Brazil and India, everyone's trying to detach themselves from the US dollar. And what is this gonna mean? Well, um, of course, I'm in finance. Um, I, I manage the largest financial purchase of people's lifetime, and that's financing a home, buying a home. And so, of course, this caught my attention. Plus, I'm middle-aged. I have plenty of money in the stock market and plenty of money in real estate. So all of this uh, worries me that I don't really feel like starting over at 50, right? So. I have the opportunity and the uh, the privilege of being connected to just some incredible people from my personal financial planners to um, my mentor who has uh, a ridiculous amount of, of money invested and is very, very smart and a businessman to uh, various economists that I get connected to on a daily basis up to the president of our bank, Christy Bunce at New American Funding. And I've sat down with every single one of these people and I've asked the same question. What does this mean to us as Americans? What, is this, what would this mean to the housing market if this were to happen? And every single one of these very intelligent, very wealthy people that have experience in the economy said the same thing. They all said the same thing. And I'm gonna share that with you today. So number one, you have to understand that China is responsible or owns the majority of the U.S. debt, all right? So for them to completely detach themselves from the U.S., economically speaking, um, is unlikely. Number two, Russia has a ridiculously fragile economy. Um, so for them to go out and, and uh, mess with a different currency or a very unstable or unstable currency, whether it be theirs or China's, unlikely. Now, if you go and you do even more research on this, that was headlines about two weeks ago or a week ago. Right now, there are no future developments on any of this and the likelihood, and these are economists and, and very, very intelligent people presenting this to the news stations, the likelihood of this causing impact to the US and this actually happening is very, very slim. So it was, uh, it caught headlines, it's catching headlines. You're probably gonna hear it because news agencies get paid for clicks. Um, but let's talk about, let's play devil's advocate here for a second, that worst case scenario, let's say this went through 10 years from now or five years from now to 10 years from now, what would this mean to the US? Well, it would mean it, it would cause massive inflation in America, meaning our dollar would be worth pennies overnight, okay? Um, and it would cause massively high interest rates on everything from mortgages to auto loans to credit cards, all of that stuff. So when I encounter news like this, uh, I instantly always default to the controllables. What can I control? And what I can control is my debt, even though the US can't seem to manage their debt, um, what I can control is the debt that I own, the debt that I have. So if, for example, if interest rates were to go way up, if I don't have debt, it really doesn't matter to me. And if I don't need debt, it really doesn't matter to me. Um, so make sure that your debt, like mortgages, is properly managed. That's what I do for my clients. If you have questions on that, I want you to reach out to me. Any other debt you have, like auto loans, and uh, like auto loans credit cards, um, I don't know, student loans, anything where the interest rate may be variable, um, focus on paying that down. I teach you how to do that at budgetwithdan.com. A ton of free resources that I've put together for my clients there, budgetwithdan.com. Uh, there's also a financial awareness annual test. I want you to take that. That will help you better understand if you're on track or what you need to do uh, in order to protect your finances and your money more efficiently and better, okay? I wanna bring you up to speed real quickly on where interest rates are at. Interest rates are still 30 year fixed rates right in the mid sixes. So this is a good thing. They're not going up, they're not going down. We saw inflation numbers this last week, which came in lower like they have over the last eight or nine months. That's a good thing. So remember, as inflation comes down, so will mortgage rates. Housing market is hotter than ever. We're still seeing multiple offers on almost everything out there because of a lack of inventory. But I'll tell you this and I'll close with this. As interest rates drop, the housing market's gonna get fired back up. California last week released a grant program, $350 million of state grant money for first time home buyers. 
get this. They expected that money to be in circulation for 30 to 45 days. It was gone in three to five days. Okay. That means there's a ton of pent up demand, still home buyer demand on the sidelines. Housing market is stable. Interest rates are coming down. If you have any questions on this stuff that I talked about today, I want to be a resource for you. All right. I'm here for you. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, reach out. We'll see you next week. Bye for now.